Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar, and together we are the Ginfluencers UK at, at Christmas. Christmas. The gin we're trying today is Medlar Christmas Gin from Jim and Tonic. Oh, Jim and Tonic. Yeah. See what they did there? Jim and Tonic are somewhat unique. They have three distillery bar venues where they produce their four sustainable gins. They believe that sustainability and quality gin would go hand in hand. You can find them in Mercato Metropolitano in Elephant and Castle, Mercato Mayfair, and Craft in Dalston. In fact, we go there quite a lot, we don't do. we? We do, we, we do, do go there quite a lot. This gin is made with medlars, citrus peels, and winter spices, along with more traditional gin botanicals. There you go. So you might be asking, what's a medlar? I was. Well, it's related to apples and a quince. These are best eaten when and cooked when bletted, which means when they start becoming soft beyond ripening. So basically, they're going off a bit. <laughs> These are really underused fruit and they were used in olden times and times gone by. In fact, in the Middle Ages, they were given a very vulgar name of open arse because of its look. <laughs> and we've got these for our garden, so there you go. It comes in a 70 centilitre bottle with an ABV of 45% and costs £38.95. Today we're making a festive gin and tonic with premium tonic water and garnishing with a cinnamon stick and star anise. As always, we're trying it neat first, so let's get to it. <laughs> so on. the other... Yeah. Okay, I'll do my bit. <laughs> the other recommended festive serves are with aromatic tonic and garnishing with a wedge of orange and a sprinkle of cloves. Or with cranberry tonic, garnishing with a cherry and a sprig of thyme. That one sounds very interesting. Right, so we're going to try it neat. We will... We will um, Ooh. Talk Ooh. about medlars a little bit later on, but let's get... It's a very ginny gin. Yeah. It's very, it's very lemony, but medlars have a slight kind of citrusy taste to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these ones were actually from our garden. Our medlar tree didn't produce well this year, and a lot of them just kind of went and got knocked off, and the, we got these two measly little ones left. Right, let's try it. The smell is... Oh, um, it's, it's quite Christmas. It's an it's a, it's a, a interesting smell. It is, I think, a slightly more festive smell than it is on taste for me. No, see, I'm the other way around. I'm getting a little, little bit more of a festive taste than I'm getting from the smell. I'm getting quite a lot of sweetness. It's quite yeah, it's sweet. It's really sweet. It, not, not, I'm not overly poweringly sweet. No, but, as in it is but for very a neat sweet. gin, it's, it's, quite a, it's quite a sweet mm. thing. But maybe that's coming from, from the, um, the medlars or open arses, they used to There's be. There's a real fresh taste in there. I just can't, I can't place it. It's actually, I, I quite like whatever that freshness is. Are you getting a freshness in there? I'm getting a freshness. I'm getting a freshness. I'm getting a festive freshness. Um, it is distinctively different from their other gins that we've tried. We oh yeah, it's very different. Gins. I'm trying, it's very familiar taste. And I can't we, we place it. We have had Medlar jelly, obviously. Is oh yeah. Is it the Medlar jelly? It might be that. It might be the Medlar jelly. That my brother got me. Well, let's see what it's like in a tonic. Mm. So let's give it a try. Cheers, Cheers, Oscar. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you and you. So we've got our tops off because the fire is really hot. So it's really, really warm. So we decided to take our tops off um, and get, get, in, get in the Christmas mood. It's even got a hairy back. Look at that, look. That's just, like, that's just disgusting. Um, anyway, let's go back. Let's get back to gin. Let's try mm. it. Again, another one that's opened up with tonic. Yeah. Really opened up. <clears throat> and it's it's gone slightly sweeter as well. Mm. Yep. I like the fact that these guys are sustainable. They, they, they try and get like the local stuff as well. Obviously, um, the medlars were local. The, the kind of um, citrus wouldn't have been, but you know, a lot of the stuff they get is is actually oh, it's, local. It's a, it's, it's citrusy, but it is, I'm definitely getting elements of Christmas there. It's a, it's a Christmas citrus is what I'm getting. 
So it isn't it isn't just a citrus gin, it is actually quite it's sweet. Yeah, it's 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 a, it's a nice gin. I think the thing behind it that makes it a Christmas gin as well is the fact is that medlars are ripe or kind of they're for use in this time. So this this time right now, they're kind of bletted, so they're, they're, they start to go where they get really, really hard and firm. They start to go soft. This is when they're supposed to be used. But yeah, we've, we've got a medlar tree in the garden. Um, your brother has a medlar tree mm, in his indeed. garden yep. that we got him. And um, we've had medlar jelly from them. And yep. it's, it's, it's really lovely. Very nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. I like the fact it's got medlars in. It's, um, yeah, I, I think it's, it's really interesting flavor. Um, it's a ginny gin. It's a nice, it's a nice, to, you, you wouldn't feel compromise if you had this anytime. It's distinctively different from their other gins. Yeah, very. And if, if you look at their kind of London dry gin mm. as well that they've got, this is distinctively different. Yeah. Putting those medlars in and stuff, it, it really, really does change it completely. Mm. Yeah, this is this is a pleasant drink. It's actually a pleasant drink. It's um, it's ticking tick a few boxes for me. Again, it's not gonna be one of those ones that people are gonna go, oh, Christmassy gimmick. Um, it's not overly, overly Christmas, mm. um, but it's Christmas. We like Christmas, and we like things to like punch in the face Christmas. But this is this is enough it's here. It's subtle There's, enough. It's subtle yeah. enough that we, we're happy with those Christmas elements. But if you were drinking it other times of the year, it'd be, it'd be the great gin. gin purists out there will will not have a problem with yeah. this. Right, it, it's it's a good it's a good gin. It's I mean that their stuff's very good anyway. Also historically, it's it's a really old fruit. A medlar is a really really old fruit, and it's completely underused now mm. because obviously it was used before because it, it stayed around till Christmas time, you know, on the trees and it was stored and it was like rock hard, so it was easily kind of accessible. Look so at you in a history lesson. I know. There I know. you go. And there, there they are. Um, but no, I, I I like them. I've always I've always found them an, an underused thing, and I like the things from history that come back. Flavors that we've lost. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's that's the thing. Flavors and, that we've and lost. And experiment. I like the star anise in this and, and the cinnamon. Yeah, it's it's, it's bringing good. everything yeah. out. It's it's marrying all those flavors. Definitely out. definitely complementing it. It's it, yeah, it's yeah. boosting the flavors that are in there. I'd like to try it as the some of the other serves. Mmm, the cranberry one, I think would probably be my favorite. Do you think? Should, yeah, I think it might be a bit dry. Yeah. But yeah, you like that. I you do, like yeah. Gin, you see, yeah. that's it. Should we score it? Yeah, let's score it. Right. What are you asking now? Can I have a, can I have a paddle? Should we score it? Yeah. Should we? Should we? Uh, let's have a paddle, come on. There you go. Oh, it's getting really hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> that's just the dog barking at the moment, so... Um... Right, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to pause there. Pause. Oh, because oh, the dogs, oh, the dogs well barking. See, we did that. There we go. Right. right, hold on. I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Yeah, there you go. 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 Oh, excellent. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's another ten from me. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. Yeah. Really, really lovely. Gym and tonic. You know, guys. Great name as well. Yeah. Gym and tonic. But it's, it's, it's really lovely. It's, it's ticking a lot of boxes. Yeah. Where we tried one some last year, we were like, oh, it doesn't feel this festive. Mm. Festive, festive. Yeah, um, if that's a word, is that a yeah, word? Yeah, no. Um, well, I made it up. Anyway, um, this is this is enough. This is enough. There's yeah. lovely flavours in there. It's really, really beautiful. It's not gimmicky. And these, this is the packaging that comes in. The packaging is awesome. Like these kind of cardboard boxes here. Really, really lovely. But yeah, yeah definitely, well, definitely. Well like this is a, it's a good gin. And I, I hope you're selling it at the bars. I hope you're selling it at bars. Well, next time we'll come down and have a look. Yeah, that's true, actually. Good point. Yeah, we'll have a look in Mercados. Right, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Merry Christmas. Cheers. And cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.